Hey guys, I have to do this video. It's just going to be a brief video, but I really wanted to point this out. We know in the letter to the seven churches uh, that John talks about in Revelation, we know that within the Catholic Church, there are some good, true Bible-believing Christians. Um, we know from the big churches, the big Protestant ones, uh, you know, the Joel Osteens that are all wealth and God's going to take care of you, all of your finances and, you know, pushing all that and getting all those super churches everywhere. There are people within that that are good as well. And then, of course, we also have the Church of Philadelphia, which there isn't anything bad said about them. So we know that within some of those, there there's good people. There are good true Bible-believing Christians, there are true Bible-believing Christians within those churches. And I just wanted to give you a little insight here. I typed in the word, uh, the meaning for word Catholic. So here's Catholic. It's an adjective. And it means, it includes a wide variety, all-embracing. And the synonyms for it, diverse, diversified, wide broad, you know, eclectic, liberal, you know, liberal is another thing, but wide and broad. You know, what does the Bible tell us? Well, before I jump into that, let's look at what's the opposite. What would be the opposite of Catholic? So, see, opposite word of cat, opposite of word Catholic. You know, right here, here it is. It's a uh, antonym, an antonym which means the opposite, is check it out, narrow. So just to be sure, what's an antonym? An antonym, a word opposite in meaning to another, bad and good, for example. Sunny and rainy or cloudy, you know, it, it's the opposite. Well, now we know the word Catholic means wide and broad, and the opposite of that means narrow. Well, let's see what the word tells us. Enter by the narrow gate. It uses the exact same words, people. Enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Do you see that? It tells us right there in the word. And again, this is not a bash or a hit on those going to Catholic Church. This is more of a plea to get out and find a Bible teaching, Word of God teaching, not just all of these sit, stand, sit down, pray, kneel, you know, worshiping the Virgin. I mean, you're going to be into some serious, serious trouble. And we don't want anybody missing the door that's about to open briefly. The way is narrow. The door is going to be opened briefly to escape these things coming upon the whole earth. I don't want you to say, well, I, I believed in Jesus. I believed in Jesus and I missed him. It's narrow. And I'm sorry, but if you're in the Catholic Church, I'm not saying you're not going to make it. I am just saying you're risking it. If, you're, if you don't have a good, solid relationship with Jesus Christ, you're not watching for him. You're not learning his word. You're not studying. You're not praying. You're not speaking with him. Make the things asking for forgiveness and rectifying those things that are wrong in your life. The Bible says it right here. I'm in Matthew 7. Matthew 7, verse 13. Everybody has heard, narrow is the way, the, the way into heaven. Wide is the other way. It literally tells us people, Look right here. Catholic means wide. It means broad. The opposite of Catholic is the word narrow. Literally the opposite word of Catholic. <laughs> the word Catholic. I had no idea. I just discovered this today. The opposite of the word Catholic is narrow. And the word of God tells us narrow is the gate. Opposite is the way of Catholic. Do you get it? <laughs> Opposite in the Word of God. It's not me saying it. Opposite is the gate to Catholic. I mean, guys, 
narrow is the gate, Catholic is wide and broad. It's not the way. Again, not everybody in it is missing the boat. I'm not saying that. However, there are going to be millions, in my opinion, millions upon millions upon millions and millions that are going to miss the open door that's going to be coming for the rapture of the church. And you're going to be part of the group left in the wide and broad that are going to be left. And, you know, let me get into this. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. It still is going to be a short video. Why in Revelation does it tell us that the saints, everybody who comes to truly accept and know and understand Jesus Christ in after the rapture of the church, why are they going to be beheaded? Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever read that? You're going to have to be beheaded. Now, why are you going to have to be beheaded? Jesus Christ is the head, isn't he? Where's the head? The head is in heaven. So, where's the body? The church is called the body of Christ. They have to become one, which is going to be the rapture. We're going to meet them in the air, and the head is going to unite with the body, and we're going to be one with him forever and eternity. We're going to be given our new bodies there, just like he was given his new body in his resurrection when he returned to the Father, and he had his new body. Actually, he received his new body when he went and um, showed himself to the apostles and so forth. So we're going to receive our new body in heaven, same with all those who were dead in Christ before us. And we're going to enter through the narrow gate, and we're going to be with him forever. The head is going to unite with the body and we're going to be with him forever as one body. Do you get it? Why is everybody going to be beheaded? Why does the U.S. have at least that we know of, people that have researched it, there are 30,000 guillotines in the U.S. Why? It doesn't make any sense. Why not just a bullet to every believer's head in the last days? You know, we know that they ordered how many billions, a billion, two billion rounds a few years back. One bullet to every believer. I mean, there's enough bullets in the U.S. that they've ordered for every believer in the world to just receive one to the head and be done. Why are heads going to be be, be chopped off? Look at Al-Qaeda, ISIS, all of them. What, what are they doing now? They're beheading Christians. Why is it always freaking beheading? Because they want to separate the head from the body. That is the point. The separation of the head from the body. Why? Because we're going to meet him and unite the head with the body and become one with him forever. And that gate is narrow. And for all those left that were in the wide gate, that are, have gone through the wide gate, that are in the broad way, that leads to destruction. They're going to miss it and have to be beheaded for their belief and reveal and prove their loyalty and love for Jesus Christ through beheading. It's going, I, I can't even imagine how wicked and awful that's going to be. Just one after the other, just beheadings are going to take place. You're going to be brought before a court, before a judge, and you're going to be beheaded. The Lord tells us, don't worry about what your words are going to be. I'm going to speak for you but you will be beheaded. So what I'm trying to do is save you from the wide, broad gate, from what you might be missing out, being in the Catholic Church, the wide and broad way, and hopefully get you to realize the opposite, which is the narrow way, the opposite of Catholic, just like the word says, so with that, guys, I hope this helps some of you. Go ahead, spread it, tell everybody, um, you know, find another church. And if you're uncomfortable, there are a lot of great teachers on YouTube. Uh, you know, Pastor Sandy Armstrong, he's got a little church in California. Uh, a lot of us know um, Pastor Perry Stone. There are so many good teachers. Uh, another one in California that I like is um, uh, Jack... Oh, shoot. What's his name? Jack Hibbs is also out of California. There there are so many all around the world, not just in America or Canada. 
but all around the world. Search them out. And on YouTube, you can find them. Pastor Steve Ciccolanti, who's out of uh, uh, Australia. You can find these guys online. All you need is something to get online with, and you can follow these guys online and get some truth taught to you, not just what the wide and broad is teaching you, but what the narrow is teaching you. So with that, guys, everybody, God bless, and I hope this will help somebody. Um, God bless, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.